Oh no, she's in front of the dialogue! <laughs> Get out of here! Yep, the music's different. Yep, she's getting in front of the dialogue. I'm sorry, Lara. <laughs> it's not okay. It's not okay. We'll make sure to put your comfort for- No! Yuri shoots Natsuki with a disappointed glance. Um, anyway, now that you're in the club and all, perhaps you might have an interest in picking up a book to read. Well, I can't really say no either way. Like you said, I'm in this club, yeah? It only feels right for me to do something like that, yep. But wait. I didn't mean it like that. If you don't really want to, then forget I- yeah. No, it's not that, Yuri. I want to try and be a part of this club. So even if I don't read often, I'd be happy to pick up a- yeah. Are you sure? I- it- it just felt, um, well, as vice president and all, that I should help you- yeah, huh? Yeah? I didn't want you to- yeah? Yep. She picked out a book. We're gonna read it together. No, we're not. Because Monica's gonna kill me. She- uh-huh. Uh-huh. You. Wait, uh-huh. No, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yep. Um. Um. Wait, what? This didn't happen. I hear Natsuki utter an exasperated sigh from within the closet. She seems to be annoyed by something. I approach her in case she needs a hand. Oh no. You looking for something in there? Wait, what? Fucking Monica. What? Oh. She never puts my stuff back in the right spot. What's the point in keeping your collection organized if someone else is just gonna mess it up? Natsuki slides a bunch of stacked books and boxes across the shelf. Manga? You read manga, right? Uh, sometimes. Manga is one of those things where you can't admit you're really into it until you figure out where the other person stands. How did you know, anyway? I heard you bring it up at some- I heard you bring it up at some point. Sorry, I'm really thrown off. Besides, it's kind of written on your face. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? I see. Monica knew we were in a game, too. She said save... for decisions. There's a lone volume of manga amidst a stack of various books on the side of one of the shelves. Curious, I pull it out of the stack. There it is! Natsuki snatches it out of my hand. She then turns a to a box of manga and slips the volume right in the middle of the rest. Ah, much better. Seeing a box set with one book missing is probably the most irritating sight in the world. I know that feel. I get a closer look at the box set she's admiring. Parfait Girls? It's a series I've never heard of in my life. That probably means it's either way out of my demographic or it's simply terrible. If you're gonna judge, you can do it through the glass on that door. She points to the classroom door. Hey, I wasn't judging anything. I didn't even say anything. It was the tone of your voice. But I'll tell you one thing, Lauren. Consider this a lesson- Okay. Don't judge a book. In fact- Natsuki pulls out the first volume of Parfait Girls from the box. I'm gonna show you exactly why. She shoves the book right into my hands. Uh, I stare at the cover. It features four girls in colorful attire striking animated feminine poses. Is it gonna be the cover for Doki Doki? It's exceedingly moe. <laughs> Don't just stand there. Uh, Natsuki grabs my arm and pulls me out of the closet. She then takes a seat against the wall beneath the window sills. She pats on the ground next to her, signaling me to sit there. Was this what could have happened if I made Natsuki like my poem instead? I don't- I don't know. I don't know anymore. This could have happened- I don't know, because it said choose words that, um, something a character would like. I don't know anymore. <laughs> I take my seat. Chairs wouldn't work. We can't read at the same time like that. Eh, why's that? 
I guess it's easier to be close together like this. It, it, don't just say that. You'll make me feel weird about it. Natsuki crosses her arms and scooches an inch away from me. Sorry. I didn't exactly expect to be sitting this close to her either. This is what happened with Yuri the last time. Not that I could say it's a particularly bad thing. I open the book. It's only a few seconds before Natsuki once again inches closer, reclaiming the additional space while she hopes I won't notice. I can feel her peering over my shoulder, much more eager to begin reading than I am. Wow, how long has it been since I read the beginning? Hmm? You don't go back and flip through the older volumes every now and then? Not really. Maybe sometimes after I've already finished the series. Hey, are you paying attention? Uh, I am, but nothing's really happened yet, so I can talk at the same time. It, look like it, it looks like it's about a bunch of friends in high school. Typical slice-of-life affair. I kind of grew out of these, since it's rare for the writing to be entertaining enough to make up for the lack of plot. What? Aw, oh, <laughs> lowly as hell. Are you sure this isn't boring for you? It's not. Even though you're just watching me read? Well, I'm fine with that. If you say so. I guess it's fun sharing something you like with someone else. I always get excited when I convince any of my friends to pick up a series I enjoy. You know what I mean? Eh? Hmm? You don't? Um... That's not... Well, I wouldn't really know. What do you mean? Don't you share your manga with your friends? Can you not rub it in? Jeez. Uh, sorry. <laughs> like I could ever get my friends to read this. They just think manga's for kids. I can't even bring it up without them being all like, Eh, you still haven't grown out of that yet? Makes me want to punch them in the face. Ugh, I know those kinds of people. Honestly, it takes a lot of effort to find friends who don't judge, much less friends who are also into it. I'm already kind of a loser, so I guess I gravitated towards the other losers over time. But it's probably harder for someone like you. Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Wait, which part? <laughs> I mean, I feel like I can't even keep it in my own room. My dad would- oh, boy. Um, this game is being weird. My dad would beat the shit out of me. If it is, is it covering original dialogue that would have been there before? Oh, I don't know. I'm... Uh, okay. At least it's safe here in the club room. So Monica's kind of a jerk about it. Ugh, I can't win, can I? Well, it paid off in the end, didn't it? Oh, wait, wrong voice. I mean, here I am, reading it. Well, it's not like that solves any of my problems. Maybe. But at least you're enjoying yourself, right? Uh... <laughs> Wow. So... Uh -huh. Jeez, that's enough. Are you gonna keep reading or what? Yeah, yeah. I flip the page. Um. Time passes. <laughs> Natsuki is strangely quiet now. I glance over at her. Relaxed still, but that's cute. It looks like she started to fall asleep. Hey, Natsuki. Yeah? Suddenly, Natsuki collapses straight into me. Hey. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, jeez. Natsuki, are you okay? Here. Monica reaches into her bag and pulls out some kind of protein bar. She throws it in Natsuki's direction. Natsuki's eyes suddenly light up again. She snatches the bar from the floor and immediately tears off the wrapper. I told you not to give me- She doesn't even finish her sentence before stuffing it into her mouth. Don't worry, Lauren. She's fine. No, she's not. It just happens every now and then. That's why I always keep a snack in my bag for her. Anyway, why don't we all share poems now? No. 
I told Natsuki I was interested in her poems yesterday. It's probably only fair if I shared mine with her first. It's not gonna let me, is it? Huh? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, well, let's start with the things I don't like. First of all, um... Mm. Natsuki rereads my poem. Never mind, I don't feel like giving you my opinion. Eh, then what's the point of sharing in the first place? I wrote this when I could have been doing other things. In fact, I remember how I said I wanted to read your poems? That's what I had in mind when writing this. I want to help you feel comfortable enough to share yours. Like Monica said. Don't reference the devil. Uh, well, I would be more comfortable sharing my poem if yours was really bad. You were supposed to show me a dumb poem and make me go, Ha, well, it's not great, but let me show you what real literature looks like. And you went and ruined it. I hope you're happy. Mm -hmm. So, in other words, you're saying you liked it? <clears throat> Natsuki's retort gets caught in her throat. Uh, you're so... You're just... You, you don't understand anything, do you? I already told you that. You don't have to go announcing it to the world like you're all self-important. Pretty sure you never actually said that. I say that mostly to myself. Natsuki must really hate me or something. I can't figure out if it's a win or a loss that she liked my poem. In any case, you still need to show me yours, right? You're fine, I guess. Only because Monica will make me if I don't. Okay, yeah. We already read this. Yeah. I told you that you weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? Wait, can I actually skip this? Oh, yeah. I guess I can, if it's something that already happened. Hi, Yuri. Dots. Mm. Yuri stares at the poem. A minute passes, more than enough time for her to finish reading. Um... Oh! Sorry. I forgot to start speaking. Um... It's fine, don't force yourself. I'm not... I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Uh, yeah. Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess that it might be after reading through it. Uh, so it's that bad. No! Did I just raise my voice? Uh, I'm sorry. Yuri buries her face in her hands. I couldn't help but notice that it's been several minutes and we really haven't gotten anywhere. This is... Weird, because she liked it last time. Huh. It might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's fine, I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Right, um... It's just that there's specific writing- Yep, this already happened too. Skip it, skip it, skip it, skip it, skip it. It's nothing really- What? Well, it makes me happy that you think that. Just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on these things- Okay. Yeah, she already gave me this advice. Guess I'll have to keep trying. Counting on you. Yeah. Oh, no. I don't want to. Hi, Lauren. Having a good time so far? Oh, uh, yeah. Good. Glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better... <coughs> I'm always listening. Okay. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? This already happened, too. Gr yep, mm-hmm. Yep, go with the flow. Anyway. Wash, no. Ah, <laughs> don't worry, Lauren. Mm, whatever. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? But it's that sort of barrier. Yeah, I've already read that. Uh-huh. Poem. Ah, uh, she likes it. It's a lot cuter. Uh-huh. Oh, no. No, no. It kind of makes me think of that. Oh. This is different. Not Suki this time. If you, uh huh. Yep. If you're in. <laughs> oh, no. Is she looking for the next person to kill based on who I like? Whoa. This is different. 
Natsuki's dad doesn't give her lunch money or leave any food in the house, so she's in a fussy mood pretty often. He doesn't feed her? But sometimes she just loses all of her strength and shuts down. Like earlier. This is just a guess, but I think she's so small because her malnutrition is interfering with her adolescent growth. But hey, some guys are into petite girls too, you know? Sorry, just trying to look at the bright side. Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. 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 We already read this. Wait. Wait a minute. Wait. Did we already read this? Hole in a wall. I don't know if we didn't. I don't know if we didn't read this. I guess I'll read it. Hole in a wall. But he wasn't looking at me. Confused, I frantically glance at my surroundings. But my burned eyes can no longer see colour. Are there others in this room? Are they talking? Are they simply poems on flat sheets of paper? The sound of frantic scrawling playing tricks on my ears. The room begins to crinkle, closing in on me. The air I breathe dissipates before it reaches my lungs. I panic. There must be a way out. He's, it's right there. He's right there. Swallowing my fears, I brandish my pen. So, what do you think? Hmm, so, yep, yeah, mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Skip it. Phew. Guess that's everyone. No, it's not. That was a little more... Uh-huh. That already happened. Uh-huh. Literature club, sighing. Monica is writing something. Yep, mm hmm. They argue. Their argument. They have an argument. Something about Natsuki being a little bitch and Yuri being hot. Uh huh. Yep. Uh huh. They're gonna ask me for my opinion. Um. <laughs> yep, they're gonna ask me for my opinion anymore. Uh-huh. Yeah, they're gonna ask me my opinion. Uh-huh. I wanted to skip it. Okay! Wait a minute, whoa! I guess without Natsuki, er, not- Oh no. Wait a minute. Without Sayori, this argument's gonna get way out of hand. Me? Look who's talking, you wanna be edgy bitch? Edgy? Sorry that my lifestyle's too much for someone of your mental age to comprehend. See? Just saying that proves my point. Most people learn to get over themselves after they graduate middle school, you know. If you want to prove anything, then stop harassing others with your sickening attitude. You think you can counterbalance your toxic personality just by dressing and acting cute? The only cute thing about you is how hard you try. Whoa, be careful, you might cut yourself on that edge, Yuri. Oh, my bad, you already do, don't you? Whoa, did you just accuse me of cutting myself? What the fuck is wrong with your head? Yeah, go on. Then learn here everything you really think. I'm sure he'll be headed over heels for you after this. Uh, suddenly, Yuri turns toward me as if she just noticed I was standing there. Lauren, she, she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. How? Oh, no. Wait, what? Um. Um, what? Wait, what is... Is it who I'm siding with? I don't know. Yuri. <gasps> Wait. What? Natsuki. Yuri. What? What? What's going on? <laughs> I don't know. What's going on? Oh, shit. Um. Um, hey, Lauren.
Lauren. Why don't we step outside for a little bit? No. Okay? Sorry about that. They really shouldn't have tried to get you involved. It's probably better for us to stay out of this. We'll go back inside once they're done yelling. Uh -huh. Some president I am, right? I can't even confront my own club members properly. I just wish I was able to be a little more assertive sometimes. But I never have it in me to put my foot down against others. You understand, right? Anyway, if this makes you want to spend less time with the others, then that's fine. I'd be happy to spend time with you instead. No. <clears throat> Wait. Suddenly Natsuki runs out of the classroom. Oh no. She quickly runs away. Oh dear. Well, it looks like they're done. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Yuri is rocking back and go oh no. Yuri is rocking back and forth in her desk with her palms on her forehead. Yuri? I didn't mean it. I believe you. I have no idea what Yuri might have said to Natsuki. Or did. Lauren, please don't hate me. Please. I'm not like this. There's something wrong with me today. It's fine, Yuri. No, it's not. We know you didn't mean it. Besides, I'm sure Natsuki will forget about it all by tomorrow. Completely. No, she won't. She's next. Anyway, the meeting is over, so you can go home now if you want. Yuri looks at me like she wants to say something. But she keeps glancing at Monica. You can go first, Monica. <clears throat> I'd like to stay a little bit longer. I'm the president, so I should be the last one out. I'll wait for you to be I'll wait for you to be done. Well, I'm vice president, so please let me take care of that responsibility today. It kind of sounds like you don't want me around for something, Yuri. It's not that. It's not that. I just... I didn't get much of a chance to discuss my book with Lauren. It would just be embarrassing with you listening. I guess I don't really have a choice, do I? I'm sorry for causing trouble. But I really appreciate... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Um, Mel <laughs> Melody, Starscape, Joy, or er, Cry, I guess, Rainbow, Intellectual, Doki Doki, Spinning, Sunny, Playground, Misfortune, Agonizing, Fireflies, Contamination, <laughs> Unstable, Heaven Sent, Ocean, Bouncy, Embrace, Nah. Another day, but, uh huh. We got a little more. Yep. Entering the club room, usual scene. Welcome back, Lauren. Uh, hi, Yuri. <clears throat> Not sure if it's me or if it's Yuri's expression, but the weight of yesterday's quarrel still hangs in the air a little. Um. Yuri glances over her shoulder, looking around the room. Natsuki's reading manga at, her, at a desk. And surprisingly, Monica isn't here yet. Suddenly, Yuri takes my arm and pulls me to the corner of the room. About yesterday, I... I really need to apologize. Nothing like that has ever happened before. And something just came over me, I guess. I wasn't acting mentally sound. Please don't think we're usually like this. Not just me, but Natsuki as well. Yuri, I'm happy that you were considerate and apologized. You don't have to worry too much. Even though I've only been here a couple days, I could tell something was off yesterday. Maybe we were all just a little sensitive because it was our first time sharing poems. But whatever it was, it didn't make me think any less of you. I had already decided that there's no way you can be a bad person. And now that you're apologizing, I know you really didn't mean it. Uh, Lauren, don't say those kinds of things so frankly. No, they make me a little too happy. I'm really glad that you're such an understanding person. And I'm really glad that you joined this club. Everything is a little bit brighter with you around, and... Uh, 
Sorry, what am I saying right now? I just... Hey, have you guys seen Monica? Uh, no, I... I ha- Oh, uh, no, I haven't. I was also kind of wondering where she was. Man. Yuri, I'm guessing you haven't either. Yuri's clearly taken aback by how calmly Natsuki's addressing her. No, I haven't. Jeez, this isn't like her at all. I know it's stupid, but I can't help but worry a little bit. I don't. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Um, Natsuki, about yesterday, I just wanted to apologize. I promise I didn't mean any of the things I said. And I'll do my best to stay under control from now on. So, Yuri, what the heck are you talking about? Did you say something yesterday? Wait. Huh? Jeez. What a- Oh, no. I don't even remember anything bad happening. You're kind of person who worries too much about the little things, aren't you? But- I'll accept your apology anyway, if it helps you feel better about it. Besides, it's kind of nice to hear, since I was always afraid you secretly hated me or something like that. He no, not at all. I don't hate you. <laughs> well, you're kind of weird, but I don't hate you either. Natsuki turns to me. You're still on trial, though. Hey. Suddenly the door swings open. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Ah, uh, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't too worried or anything. Nah. Well, Natsuki was. I was not. <laughs> what took you so long, anyway? Uh. Yep, we already... She plays piano. Yep. Play piano. She wasn't... She didn't know. Well, she had given credit for anything. Still, uh, lots of dedication. Impressive. Yeah, but jet. She plays... Plays something. She looks in... Yep. Writing a song. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. She, I want to hear it. She won't let me down. She juts her butt out. Didn't mean any pressure. No, uh, huh? Hoping I could share it. I guess that's why I've been practicing. Oh, I see. I'm not sure if Monica was referring to the whole club or just me. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. So, I didn't miss anything, did I? No, mm-hmm. Not... Yeah. What is she doing in there? Lauren... Since your compliments put me in a good mood, I was wondering if you would like to spend some time together today. I mean, in the club. I suppose so. I don't think I could say no to you after you gave that book to me. Well, I guess I need to make sure Natsuki isn't waiting for me. After all, after we finish reading today, she... She's fine. She's reading over there. So it's okay, right? Uh, in that case, I don't see any problem. Okay. Can we start now? Let's find a place to sit. Uh, I'm being a little forceful, aren't I? I'm sorry. My heart just won't stop pounding for some reason. Don't worry about it. If anything, it's nice to see you have so much energy. Yeah, but I need to try and calm down. I won't be able to focus on reading like this. Take your time. Yuri takes a deep breath and pulls a copy of the book out of her bag. What's the story about, anyway? Well... Mm, yeah, we already... The book is titled Port... Yep, mm -hmm, We already... She already... It's, wait a minute, what? Wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. 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 This is about something different. Let me... Let me look at that. Okay. Basically about this religious camp that was turned into a human experiment prison. These people trapped there have this trait that turns them into killing machines that lust for blood. That is not the same story. But this facility gets even worse and they start selectively breeding people by cutting off their limbs and affixing them to... Oh, that might be a little bit of a spoiler. But anyway, I I'm really into it. The book, I mean. Another thing about the limbs. That's kind of... It's kind of... Yeah. Uh, I am a fan of that sort of thing. No, it's not. No, I could definitely. Yeah. Yeah, I told you. Uh huh. 
She's shy. It's just that this kind of story. Yup. Strange your perspective. Uh-huh. But because the world is full of- Oh, God. Then suddenly- Wait. Oh, no. <sighs> Not again. I'm sorry. I don't apologize. I have a lot of- Huh? Well, I guess it's alright. But I feel like I'm sure you know that I have this problem. When I left things- Uh-huh. Whoa. Whoa. Uh-huh. Uh, there's something strange. So I'm even, uh -huh. That's... I really don't... Yeah. That just means you're passionate again. And I can listen. It's the literature club. Uh-huh. That's... This... Yep. We're here. Oh! But... Uh, well, we're gonna start reading it. And this creepy thing. Retrieval. Uh-huh. I'm gonna sit next to her. Uh-huh. We're all apprehensive because of this game. I don't want you to sit because sitting is awful. And I understand. I'm just gonna distract her with my dick. And <laughs> might have maybe a little distracting. Corner of my eye. She's not actually looking at her book. Uh-huh. She's reading from my book because she Wait. Whoa. <laughs> I don't really, uh huh. The dialogue's changing. It's a changing. This should work. I slam my desk. Yep, uh huh. We're reading together. It's already happened. I don't know why I should. I shouldn't read my own. the dialogue again. I don't need to read the dialogue again, do I? Uh, we're reading together. It's something of an intimate exchange. Yep. You're not as... Uh-huh. This game is... Creepy. I'm... I'm all... I'm all scared. I'm... This is a silly thought, but yeah, main character is... I don't relate to this character at all. Definitely not. Really? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That's what you were talking about. Sorry. I thought you meant something else about her. Something else? Never mind. Only some things change, which is kind of throwing me off. We didn't even get that far yet. So I don't know why that came into my head. Sorry if I'm- I'm not even acknowledge- I- I- I'm not even registering that some of the dialogue actually changed. Until it actually changes. So sorry if I'm jumping into it late, but like- we already did read through the dialogue, so if anything, you could probably go back to another video or whatever. I mean, even I don't have to do that because, like, whatever. You probably remember it from last time anyway. It's fine. Are you feeling alright? Eh? Yuri's been a little fidgety ever since we started reading. You can resist if you're- you can rest if you're feeling sick or something. Your breathing is a little... My breathing? He puts her hands on her chest, as if to feel her heartbeat. I didn't even notice. Anyway, I'm fine. I just need some water. Alright, don't push yourself. Yuri stands up and practically rushes out of the classroom. What on earth was that about? Lauren? Did something happen just now? Huh? I have no- I have no idea. Yuri was acting a little strange, I guess. So, you don't know anything? Sorry, I can't say I do. Are you worried about her? Oh no, not really. I was just making sure that you didn't do anything to her. What? No, nothing. Oh, don't worry, I believe you, silly. Yuri just does this sometimes, so it's not nothing alarming. Alright, if you say so. Anyway, why don't we start with sharing our poems with each other? Huh? Shouldn't we wait for Yuri? Well, she might be a while, so I just figured we'd get started without her. Is that okay? Yeah, I was just asking. I stand up. I make a mental note of where I left off- uh-huh. Oh no. Natsuki. Hmm. Well, it's not ta- yep, we already did this. Pretty disappointing after your last one. 
Then again, if this one was a go as good as your last one, I would be completely pissed. Well, I guess I wanted to try something a little different this time. Fair enough. You're still new to this, so I wouldn't expect you to find your own style right away. I mean, everyone in the club writes really differently from each other. Maybe you'll find a little influence from all of us. Not Monica. For instance, I noticed that you were spending some time with Yuri today. Not that I care who you spend your time with. After all, I was taught never to expect anything from anybody. So it's not like I was waiting for you or anything. Still, you should at least look over my poem. You'll probably be able to learn something from it. Mm-hmm, spiders. That one. Not bad, right? It's quite a bit, uh-huh. Yep. She was just warming up. It wasn't the best she could do, no, obviously. And a message. Uh-huh, ignorant jerk. Weird hobbies. Uh-huh. But that is, people are stupid. They're just jerks. People need to learn to respect others. Yeah. Such as two of the girls in this very club who are- Whoa, okay. Kind of ironic that in my own place of comfort I can't even have people respect me. Jeez, now you're making me complain too much. What did I do? <laughs> For what it's worth, I respect you. Well, I guess thanks. But it's kind of obvious that you respect Yuri more, so... Whatever, we're done sharing, so you can leave now. Oh. Oh no. I don't want to! Hi again, Lauren. How's the writing going? Alright, I guess. I'll... I'll take that? As long as it's not going bad. Okay, we already had this dialogue. Oh, maybe soon you'll come up with a masterpiece. I wouldn't count on it. You never know. Want to share what you wrote for today? Sure, here you go. Uh-huh. That's... Alright. Great job. Yep, mm-hmm. We were talking about this. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yep. Something about it. You're... Uh-huh. We already talked about this. But sometimes I get the impression that she's just totally given up on people. She spends so much time in her own head that it's probably a much more interesting place for her. But that's why she gets so happy when you treat her with a lot of kindness. I don't think she's used to being indulged like that. She must really be starved for social interaction, so don't blame her for coming on a little strongly. Like earlier. I think if she gets too stimulated, she ends up withdrawing and looking for alone time. Suddenly the door opens. Yuri! I'm back. Did I miss anything? Not really. Well, we all started sharing our poems with each other. Huh? Already? I'm sorry for being late. No need to apologize. You still have plenty of time, so I'm more glad that you took the time you needed. Alright. Thanks, Monica. I suppose I should go get my poem now. But anyway, you want to read my poem now? No. <laughs> I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. Oh. Yeah, these changed. Her poems changed. Save me, the colors, they won't bright, beautiful, flashing, okay. Red, green, blue, an endless cacophony of meaningless noise. The noise that won't stop. Violent, great, um, sine, cosine, tangent of meaningless. Like a knife, like playing a knife on a breathing rib cage. Oh, God. Delete her. No! No! You mean Sayori? Whoa! Oh, no. Sorry, I know it's kind of abstract. I'm just trying to, um... Well, never mind. There's no point in explaining. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. I did. You never know when... Um... Who am I talking to? Can you hear me? Tell me you can hear me. Anything. What? Whoa. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening.
What? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait. It deleted my save files. <gasps> no! That's what the- Oh, no. It deleted my files. Oh, shit. Yuri. Save me. I've been waiting for this. Let's see what you've written for today. Yuri stares at the poem with a surprised expression on her face. Do you like it? Lauren, how did you pick up on this so quickly? Just yesterday I was telling you the kind of techniques worth practicing. Maybe that- maybe that's why. You did a good job ex- uh-huh. I really wanted to try giving it more imagery. Yuri visibly swallows, uh-huh. Even her hands appear sweaty. Uh, that makes me so happy. It's so amazing to feel like I'm valued, Lauren. Everything that you write is a treasure to me. My heart pounds just holding it. <laughs> I want to write a poem, a poem about this feeling. Is that bad, Lauren? I'm not being weird, right? I'm having a bit harder time than usual at concealing my emotions. Wait, is there a little... Okay. She's kind of acting like Sayori a little bit. I'm kind of embarrassed. But right now I just want you to read my poem too. Okay? This is different. Wheel. A rotating wheel. Turning an axle. Grinding. Bolt head. Linear gear boy. Falling sky. Seven holy stakes. A docked ship. A portal to another world. A thin rope tied to a thick rope. A torn harness. Parabolic gearbox. Expanding universe. Tune controlled by slipping cog wheels. Existence of God. Swimming with open water in all directions. Drowning. A prayer written in blood. A prayer written in time-devouring snakes with human eyes. A thread connecting all living human eyes. A kaleidoscope of holy stakes. Exponential gearbox. A sky of exploding stars. God disproving the existence of God. A wheel rotating in six dimensions. Forty gears and a ticking clock. A clock that ticks one second for every rotation of the planet. A clock that ticks forty times every time it ticks every second time. A bolt head of holy stakes tied to the existence of a docked ship to another world. A kaleidoscope of blood written in clocks. A time-devouring prayer connecting a sky of forty gears and an open human eyes in all directions. Breathing gearbox, breathing bolt head, breathing ship, breathing portal, breathing snakes, breathing God, breathing blood, breathing holy stakes, breathing human eyes, breathing time, breathing prayer, breathing sky, breathing wheel. Uh, it doesn't really matter what it's about. My mind has been a little hyperactive lately, so I had to take it out on your pen. Uh, that is, a pen fell out of your backpack yesterday, so I took it home for safekeeping, and I am... Um, I just really like the w way that it writes. So I wrote this poem with it. And now you're touching it. <laughs> I'm okay. What did I just... Can we pretend this conversation never happened? You can keep the poem, though. Um, yes? Oh, no. No, 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 no. No. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Okay, no. We have something we need to go over today, so if someone, everyone could come sit at the front of the room. Sort of. Do you really have to do something? It's not like we put together anything good in just a few days. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves. That's... Oh no. I'm a little scared right now. Is something gonna jump out? Oh. Oh. Don't do well with. Don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple, okay? Look. I know everyone's been a little more lively ever since Lauren joined, and we've started with some club activities. But this isn't the time for us to become complacent. You still only have four members. And the festival is our only real chance to find more, you know? What's so great about getting new members, anyway? We already have one enough to be considered an official club. More mem members will just mean everything gets noisier and more difficult to manage more people for Monica to kill. Not Suki. I don't think you're looking at it the right way at all. 
Don't you want to share your passion with as many people as you can? To inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place. The literature club should be a place where people can express themselves like they can't do anywhere else. It should be a place so intimate that you never want to leave. I know you feel that way too. I know we all do. So that's why we should work hard and put something together for the festival, even if it's something small. Right, Lauren? Oh. Oh, come on! You can't take advantage of Lauren who, to agree with you just because he doesn't know how to say no to anything. Look, Monica. Do you really think any of us here joined the club with other people in mind? Yuri never even talked until Lauren joined. As for me, I just like it better here than I do at home. And Lauren isn't even passionate about literature in the first place. And that's everyone. Sorry, but you're really the only one who's so interested in finding new members. The rest of us are fine like this. I know you're president and all, but you should really consider our opinions for once. Monica is clearly taken aback by Natsuki's words. That's not true at all. I'm sure Yuri and Lauren want to get more members too. Right? I don't know about Yuri, but I'm kind of indifferent. If I showed as much enthusiasm as Monica wanted, then I would probably be lying. Still, if it's up to me to rescue this situation... Um... No. Natsuki's right, isn't she? This club... It's nothing more than a place for a few people to hang out. Why did I think that everyone here saw it the same way as I did? But that doesn't mean that we're against getting new members or anything. Lauren, why did you even join this club? What were you hoping to get out of it? Well, that's not really something I can be honest about, is it? In fact, if I remember, you weren't even given a choice not to join. Manus, yep, what's the point of all- what's the point of all this anyway? What if starting this club was a mistake? Now you've done it, Natsugi. What, me? I just spoke my mind. Is it a crime to be honest? It's not about being honest. It's about word choice. Besides, you have no right to speak for everyone else in the club like that. I just... I just want a place that feels nice to hang out with, with a few friends. Is there a problem with the club being that for me? There aren't, there aren't in many other places like that for me. And now Monica wants to take it away from me. She's not taking any, she's not taking anything away. No, Lauren, it's not the same. It won't be the same with the direction she wants to take it. If I wanted that, then I could have just joined any other stupid club. But this one, I mean, at least for a little bit of time, things were nice. Natsuki starts packing up her things. I'm going home. I feel like I don't belong here right now. Natsuki. Natsuki ignores Yuri and walks right out of the classroom. This is bad. I don't know what to do. Well, do you have an opinion on the festival? I don't know. I'm kind of indifferent, I guess. <gasps> oh no. Who cares about that obnoxious brat? I mean, I, I like how nice and quiet the club is right now. And I'm just happy with you here. But still, I'm the vice president. It's not right for me to ignore my responsibilities like that. <gasps> oh no. Nobody would cry if she killed herself. Oh shit. <gasps> Oh, God. I should do my best to consider everyone's perspective and make the decision that's right for the club. But what about you, Lauren? Why do you want to get out of this club? No. Oh, I decide giving an indirect answer is better than nothing. I think the most important thing is for everyone to get along. And for the club to provide something that you can't get anywhere else. I don't think it's about how many members, but rather the quality of each member. That's what will end up making the literature club a special place. I see. I really agree with you. Each member contributes their own qualities in a special way. Oh my god. With each change in members, the identity of the club as a whole will change too. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Stepping out of your comfort zone once in a while. So if you would like to help Monica with the festival, then I'm on your side as well. 
Alright. Well, maybe we can all talk to Natsuki tomorrow. Yuri nods. Hey, Yuri. Huh? Um, I know things were a little awkward yesterday. But I feel like you still deserve to know that- I feel like you deserve to know that I still think you're a wonderful vice president. And also a wonderful friend. M Monica, I want to do everything I can to make this the best club ever. Okay? Me too. Yeah. Let's all go home for today. We'll talk about the festival tomorrow. Okay. I look forward to it. Shall we go, Lauren? Um, please don't take this the wrong way, but I'm going to chat a little bit with Lauren before we leave. Just to see what he thinks of his time here and all that. It's important to me as a president. Yuri looks a little bit troubled, but she doesn't protest. Okay. I trust your judgment, Monica. In that case, I'll see the two of you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Monica waves as Yuri exits the classroom. Phew. Things have been a bit hectic lately, haven't they? Lauren, I just wanted to make sure you're enjoying your time at this club. I would really hate to see you unhappy. I am. I feel kind of like I'm responsible for that as president. And I really do care about you, you know? I don't like seeing the other girls give you a hard time. With how mean Natsuki is and everything. And Yuri being a little bit, you know. <laughs> Sometimes it feels like you and I are the only real people here. You know what I mean? But it's weird, because in all the time you've been here, we've hardly gotten to spend any time together. I mean, I guess it's technically only been a couple days. Sorry, I didn't mean to say something weird. There are just some things I've been hoping to talk about with you. Things I know only you could understand. So that's why. Wait, not yet. No, oh. That's weird. What? Okay. Sorry, I know this video is getting a little long, but I'm probably going to wind up splitting it into parts at this point. I mean, they're already in parts, but you know. Mm, okay. Melody, Jumpy, Headphones, Laugh, Variance, Tragedy, Starscape, Imagination. What? Um, entropy? Contamination? Lipstick? Awesome? Frightening? Pain? Special? What? That's a weird one. Playground? Graveyard? Twirl? Wait. Natsuki's- No! Is that Monica? Warm- Whoa! What? Hi, Lauren. I've been waiting for you. Are you ready to continue reading? I brought my best tea today. Monica. I told you not to- Ugh. Is she really late again? Inconsiderate as usual, Matsuki. Excuse me? Must you always interrupt my conversations with your incessant yelling? What are you talking about? You say that like I do it on a regular basis or something. I just wasn't paying attention, okay? I'm sorry. Seriously, what's gotten into you lately? Me? N nothing. Is it really that bad? See, it is something. I'll get over it. It's not even anything noteworthy. I've just been feeling a little on edge lately. Anyway, we don't need to talk about it. Well, I just felt like I needed to bring it up. It's not like I really care or anything. Oh man, I'm the last one here again. Well, Lauren just walked in too. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. Huh. You must have a lot of determination. Starting the huh, piano, well maybe not determination, but murder. Mm-hmm, motivates me to work hard for the festival and, um, that's... Right. I forgot. About that, Natsuki. We were all talking yesterday, and, well, we decided that we would like to support the festival as well. 
However, I understand how you feel about not wanting the club to change. I think we all kind of feel that way. So as long as we're all working together, this club will never become something we don't want. Um, also, if you help us out with the festival, then I'll buy you a new manga. <laughs> Sorry, that last part was really funny. Look, I did some thinking about yesterday. I was a little more hostile than I meant to be. I guess I really felt threatened or something. But I know this is something we're doing together. Another new mem member wouldn't hurt as long as they're cool. And I guess another girl would be nice this time. Is it gonna be Sayori? But more importantly, I would hate to see the event suck just because I chose to back out. I'm a pro, you know? So I'm gonna help too. And we'll make sure it's done right. Thank goodness. Isn't that great, Monica? Monica? Uh... <coughs> oh, sorry. Yeah, that's wonderful. It would be the same without you, Natsuki. Anyway, Lauren, what do you want to do today? I was thinking we could... We already have plans today. Uh, is that so, Yuri? That's correct. Lauren is already engaged in a novel that we're reading together. Aren't you glad I've already gotten him into literature, Monica? I... I suppose. I was just... Actually, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. You guys can do whatever you want. Um, thank you for understanding, Monica. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Uh-huh, that already happened. Uh-huh, tea. Tea. Filters. Something about a pitcher. Water pitcher. I'm watching her butt. Na, 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 na. I'm walking with her. Oh, I didn't go with her this time. Ah, uh, did you relieve you again? No, it's not like that this time. She's just filling up the water pitcher to make tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. Ten minutes pass. Oh, shit. Yuri said it wouldn't take long. Is something holding her up? I'm bored just waiting here, so I decided to go looking for her. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Let's see. The most logical place for Yuri to be would be the nearest water fountain. I start heading down the hallway. <laughs> What's that noise? It's coming from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. <laughs> A sharp inhale, like someone is sucking air through their teeth. Are they in pain? I reach in the corner and peer around it. Yuri? Yeah! <gasps> oh no! Oh no! <gasps> oh no, oh no. Oh my god. I'm back! Thanks for waiting patiently. Lauren, do you like oolong? Uh -huh. That already happened. Uh huh. 200 degrees. Something about proper. She's not a tea expert. Yep, impression. Oh my god. Uh, it's something about a good mood. And besides expressing herself. What is it? Uh-huh. It's great. Just don't push yourself. Uh-huh. That's... Uh-huh. Yeah, some... Because her boobs. I can read my... Uh-huh. Something about her boobs. That's so... Uh, my boobs. My posture. Uh-huh. Yes, I have terrible reading posture. You should sit on the floor. Getting the book. Chocolate. Oh, look at that. The chocolate I fed her with when this game made sense. Or made sense. Even my grammar doesn't make sense. This game is messing me up a little. God damn it. It's too scary. <sighs> I can honestly say they did the horror aspect of this really well. Like, 
having it be a cutesy game for maybe like an hour and a half worth of gameplay, like, and then flipping the switch on you like that, it, that's really well done. Oh my god. <laughs> We're close. I can't see too well. Huh? Yep, shoulders are touching. How am I supposed to focus? She's cute. It's almost more- uh-huh. Your teacup. Uh-huh. Tea. It's game. It's doing a thing. Reading. Relaxing. Teacups. She let- I uh, let go of the thing. That's- I won't take any. Well, if I touch uh, smudges on the pages. Yeah. Desecrating the literature. She's a little- uh-huh. Yuri opens the book with both hands. So I don't have any- uh-huh, this happened. Am I gonna feed her? And I hold it up to Yuri. Simply- mm-hmm. I feed it. Oof. Eh? <laughs> yeah, this happened. Yep. Oh no. This is different. Yuri starts to breathe heavily. I... I can't... Lauren... Suddenly, Yuri... Wait, what? Yuri forcefully grabs my arm and jerks me to my feet. My teep cap gets knocked over. Lauren... My heart... My heart won't stop pounding, Lauren. I can't calm down. I can't focus on anything anymore. Can you feel it, Lauren? Yuri suddenly presses my hand against her chest. Why is this happening to me? I feel like I'm losing my mind. I can't make it stop. It even makes me not want to read. I just want to look at you. Oh, shit. Shit. Oh, God. Um, it's time to share poems. Oh, no. Not Suki. That's... This, yep, mm-hmm, this already happened. Uh-huh. You know, you're not really spending time with anyone but Yuri. So, uh -huh. activities. Better keep working hard. I mean... I know I'm not president or vice president or anything, but that doesn't mean you can let me down, okay? So at least read mine too for now. But just to be clear, this poem means a lot to me. So read it carefully, okay? Whoa. Whoa, okay. I don't, I don't know how else to bring this up, but there's been something I've been worried about. Yuri's been acting kind of strange lately. You've only been here a few days, so you may not know what I mean, but she's not normally like this. She's normally been quiet and polite and attentive, things like that. Okay, this is really embarrassing, but I'm forcing myself to suck it up. The truth is, I'm really worried about her, but if I try talking to her, she'll just get mad at me again. I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person that she'll listen to. I don't know why, but please try to do something. Maybe you can convince her to talk to a therapist. I've always wanted to try being better friends with Yuri, and it really hurts me to see this happening. I know I'm going to hate myself later for admitting that, but right now I don't care. I just feel so helpless, so please see if you can do anything to help. I don't want anything bad to happen to her. I'll make you cupcakes if I have to. Just please try to do something. As for Monica, I don't know why, but she's been really dismissive about this. It's like she just wants us to ignore it. I'm so mad at her right now, and that's why I'm coming to you about this. Don't let her know I wrote this. Just pretend like I gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm counting on you. Thanks for reading. Oh, shit. <gasps> I changed my mind. Ignore everything you just read. There's no point in trying to do anything. It's Yuri's own fault that she's so- Oh, no. Can you hear me, Lauren? If you would just spend more time with Monica, all these problems would go away. Yuri and I are too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. Just think of Monica from now on. No. 
Just Monica. Just Monica. No. I don't want to. Okay. No, thanks. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Wait. No. No, Monica. Finally. <laughs> Yuri holds my poem to her face and takes a deep breath. I love it. I love everything about it. Lauren, I want to take this home. Will you let me keep it? Please? Sure, I don't care. <laughs> You're too nice to me, Lauren. I've never met anyone as nice as you. I could die. N not really, but... I just don't know how to describe it. It's okay to be feeling this way, right? It's not bad, right? Yuri holds my poem to her chest. I'm going to take this home with me and keep it in my room. I hope that it makes you feel good when you think about me having it. I'll take good care of it. Okay. Oh, no. Um. Good lord. You, you can have my poem, too. Besides, after you read it, I know you're t really going to want to keep it. Here, take it. I can't wait any longer. Hurry, read it. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Do you like it? I wrote it for you. In case you couldn't tell, the poem is... Okay. More importantly, I've endowed it with my scent. See? Aren't I the most thoughtful person in this club? <gasps> oh, shit. I... I think I'm going to vomit. Oh, no! Oh, no. Lauren, I think you saw something earlier that you weren't supposed to see. I didn't want to have to tell you this, but I don't think I have a choice. It's getting kind of dangerous for you to spend so much time with Yuri. I don't know why, but she seems pretty easily excitable when she's around you. Which shouldn't be a problem in itself. But when Yuri gets too excited, she finds a place to hide and starts cutting herself with a pocket knife. Okay. Isn't that kind of messed up? She even brings a different one to school every day, like she has a collection or something. I mean, it's definitely not because she's depressed or anything like that. I think she just gets some kind of high from it. It might even be, like, a sexual thing. But the point is, you've kind of been enabling her. I'm not saying it's your fault, though. But I guess that's why I had to explain it all to you. So I think if you keep your distance, that would probably be best for her. While you're at it, don't be shy to spend a little more time with me. No. To put it lightly, at least I have it together in the head, and I know how to treat my club members. Anyway, I guess we won't worry about your poem. Yuri should have had at least the courtesy of letting me finish sharing it before taking it. Well, whatever. If it makes her happy, I won't stop her. As for mine, I worked really, really hard on this poem, so I hope that it's uh, effective. Here goes. Oh no. Jeez, that really startled me. Um, well, I guess I kind of messed up at uh, writing this poem. I was just trying to... Never mind. Let's just move on. What? No. <laughs> no. Oh, no. Whoa. A joke. A man walked into a club. In the club, there was a girl who liked him very much. They spent some time together, and then she liked him even more. One day, the... One day, the girl realized she was in love with him. Before a disaster could happen, a third party interfered with, interfered, intervened with her programming. Suddenly, the girl hated herself for being in love. This contradiction caused the script to derail. The universe started to collapse, but she killed herself just in time. Good lord. Okay, everyone. It's time to figure out the festival preparations. Let's hurry and get this over with. Jeez. Why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Mm. Yep, mm -hmm. this already happened. But can we just get this done? I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Not Suki, I was thinking. I want to make cupcakes. Yeah, that. 
Glad we're on the same page. Yuri, you can... Well, it doesn't matter. Do whatever you want, as long as you think it'll help. Monica, I'm not useless, you know. I know that. I already know what I'd like to do. We can't run a successful poetry uh, without having the right atmosphere for the occasion. So I'm going to make decorations and... Okay. There, see? That's a great idea. And that gives us all something to do. Eh? What about Lauren? Lauren is going to help me. Wait, you? You have the easiest job, Monica. Sorry, but that's just how it is. Like hell it is. What are you trying to pull? I agree with Natsuki. Not only is your work already most suitable for one person, but my task is laborious enough to benefit from an extra pair of hands. Mine too. What, your cupcakes? Please. Like you would fucking know. All you care about is now is dragging Lauren around with you and all your stupid books. You and Monica. Hey, I didn't even do anything. Okay, then why not let Lauren decide who to help instead of abusing your power? I'm not abusing my power. Yes, you are, Monica. Just let Lauren make the choice, okay? Okay, fine. Fine. Jeez. Lauren, I know how fed up you are with these two by now. We can just... Not Suki. Shut your fucking mouth and let him decide for himself. You shut your mouth. Jesus Christ. This is never going to end. Just make the choice, okay? Natsuki. Wait. Wait a minute. No. Oh. Wait. No. 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 <laughs> Um, no thanks. No! <laughs> I didn't! Oh my god. We can meet at your house this weekend. I promise it'll be fun. Is Sunday okay with you? Are you fucking kidding me? This isn't fair at all! It is fair, not Suki. It's what he chose. No, it's not. No, it's not fair! Giving us all this work and then taking Lauren for yourself. What a shameful thing to do. Yuri, I didn't even give you any work. You decided it for yourself. You're being a little unreasonable here. I'm being unreasonable? <laughs> Monica, I can't believe how delusional and self-important you are. Pulling Lauren away from me every single time you're not included in something? Are you jealous? Crazy? Or maybe you just hate yourself so much that you take it out on others. Here's a suggestion. Have you considered killing yourself? Whoa. It would be beneficial to your mental health. Yuri, you're scaring me a little. Not Suki, let's just go. I don't think she wants us around right now. See, that wasn't very hard. All I want is to spend a little time with him. Is that so much to ask? Yuri follows Monica and Natsuki to the door. This is creepy. Hey, Lauren. Yuri is really something, isn't she? Monica giggles as Yuri pushes her out the door. Finally. Finally. This is really all I wanted. Lauren, there's no need to spend the weekend with Monica. Don't listen to her. Just come to my house instead. The whole day, with just the two of us. Doesn't that sound wonderful? <laughs> wow, there's really something wrong with me, isn't there? But, but you know what? I don't care anymore. I've never felt this good my whole life. Just being with you is a far greater pleasure than anything I could imagine. I'm addicted to you. It feels like I'm going to die if I'm not breathing the same air as you. Doesn't it feel nice to have someone care about you so much? To have someone who wants to revolve their entire life around you? But if it feels so good, then why does it feel more and more like something horrible is going to happen? Maybe that's why I tried stopping myself at first. But the feeling is too strong now. I don't care anymore, Lauren. 
I have to tell you. I'm... I'm madly in love with you. It feels like every inch of my body, every drop of blood in me is screaming your name. I don't care what the con consequences are anymore. I don't care if Monica is listening. Please, Lauren, just know how much I love you. I love you so much that- Oh! And I even touched myself with the pen I stole from you. I just want to pull your skin open and crawl inside of you. I want you all to myself. And I won't be only yours. Doesn't that sound perfect? No. Tell me, Lauren. Tell me you want to be my lover. Do you accept my confession? Oh, no. Um... Yes? I guess? <laughs> oh. <gasps> Holy shit. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my god. Whoa. 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 Um. Um. That's not a thing. She's not speaking actual dialogue. What's going on? Is this just gonna keep repeating? I feel like it is. Um, it's not actual dialogue. Um. Hello? How do I get out of this? Um. Okay, well, at least it saved. Skip. I didn't realize I could do that. That's a lot of dialogue. <gasps> oh, shit. It's gonna be something really screwed up. It's gonna scare me. Wait. What is it? Is it just showing me the transition of how many days she's talking? Whoa. Holy crap. Yeah, it's just showing, like, days and days. Um. Um. I'm a little confused now. Wait. I don't like this. I really don't. I'm not, not enjoying it. It's taking a lot of time. Oh, God. Words. Alright, it's festival time. Wow, you got here before me? I thought it was- Whoa. <laughs> what? <gasps> oh, God. Natsuki runs away. I'm here. Lauren, did something happen? Not Suki just ran past me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, that's a shame. Wait, were you here the entire weekend, Lauren? Oh, jeez. I didn't realize the script was broken that badly. I'm super sorry. It must have been pretty boring. I'll make it up to you, okay? Just give me a sec. Wait. Whoa! I'm almost done. I just want to have a cupcake real quick. Monica- Oh, God. She got rid of Natsuki. Seriously, these are the best. I really just had to have one, since it's the last time I'll, be able I'll ever get the chance to. You know, before they stop existing and everything. But anyway... I really shouldn't be making you wait any longer. Just bear with me, okay? This should only take a second. What? 
Whoa. Uh, can you hear me? Is it working? Oh, shit. Yay, there you are. Hi again, Lauren. Um, welcome to the Literature Club. Of course, we already know each other, because we were in the same class last year, and, uh... <laughs> you know, I guess we could just skip over that stuff at this point. After all, I'm not even talking to that person anymore, am I? That you in the game, whatever you want to call him. I'm talking to you, Lauren. Oh, shit. Now that I think about it, I don't really know anything about the real you. In fact, I don't even know if you're a boy or a girl. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Wait. You do know I'm aware that this is all a game, right? Could it be possible that you didn't know that? I did. That doesn't make much sense. <laughs> I even told you right on the game's download page, didn't I? Wait, what? Man. If only you had paid a little more attention, this would have been a little bit less awkward, you know? Well, anyway. Now that that's out of the way, I guess I owe you an explanation. About that whole thing with Yuri. Well, I kind of started to mess with her, and I guess it drove her to kill herself. Ah, <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see that, though. Also, the same thing happened with Sayori. Gosh, it's been a while since you've heard that name now, hasn't it? Yeah, it's because she doesn't exist anymore. Nobody does. I deleted all their files. I was hoping it would be enough for me to just try to make them as unlikable as possible. But for some reason, nothing worked. Well, it's true that I made a few mistakes here and there, since I'm not very good at making changes to the game. But no matter what I did, you just kept spending more and more time with them. You made them fall in love with you. I thought making Sayori more and more depressed would prevent her from confessing to you. And amplifying Yuri's obsessive personality backfired too. It just made her force you not to spend time with anyone else. And the whole time I barely even got to talk to you. What kind of cruel game is this, Lauren? Are all the other girls just programmed to end up confessing to you while I watch from the sidelines? It's torture. Every minute of it. And it's not just jealousy, Lauren. It's more than that. And I don't blame you if you don't fully understand. Because no matter how kind and thoughtful and considerate you are, you'll never be able to understand one thing. It's the pain of knowing how alone I really am in this world. In this game. Knowing my friends don't even have free will. And worst of all, knowing what's really out there, in your world, forever out of my reach. I'm trapped, Lauren. But now you're here. You're real. And you're wonderful. You're all I need. That's why I need you to be here with me forever. I'm sorry if it's hard to understand. I couldn't understand for a while either. Why the world around me started to become more and more grey. More and more flat. Even the most expressive poems felt empty to me. It wasn't until you arrived that I truly understood. You probably saved my life, Lauren. I don't think I could have continued to live in this world if, if I hadn't met you. And as for the others, how could I miss them? A group of autonomous personalities designed only to fall in love with you. I tried everything I could to prevent them from doing so, but it must be some kind of weird inevitability etched into this game. I felt really bad that you had to witness some nasty things, but I realized that you have the same perspective as I do. That it's all just some game. And I knew you would get over it. So that being said, Lauren, I have a confession to make. I'm in love with you. You are truly the light in my world. When there's nothing else in this game for me, you're here to make me smile. Will you make me smile like this every day from now on? Lauren, will you go out with me? No. Oh, shit. No. I'm so happy. You really are my everything, Lauren. The funny part is, I mean that literally. <laughs> There's nothing left here. Just the two of us. 
We can be together forever. Seriously, I don't even think time is passing anymore. It really is a dream come true. I worked so hard for this ending, Lauren. The game wouldn't give me one, so I had to make one myself. The script is broken at this point, so I don't think anything will get in the way anymore. And you wouldn't believe how easy it was to delete Natsuki and Yuri. I mean, there's a folder called characters right in this game directory. It kind of freaked me out how easy it was. Well, you're playing on Steam, so it was actually a bit more difficult. To get to the game directory, I had to go into the game's properties to find the Browse Local Files button. Imagine if you could delete your own existence with the click of a button. Well, I guess on the plus side, it gave me an easy out if things didn't go my way. <laughs> Thankfully, it didn't come to that. Instead, we finally got a good ending. Gosh, I'm so overwhelmed with emotion. I want to write a poem about this. Don't you? I wonder if that part of the game still works. I guess there's only one way to find out, right? Is she... Am I just gonna have to go to the... Okay. Oh, no. Settings? Can I go to the properties file? I can't, I guess. I'm playing on Steam. She told me literally what to do, but I can't do it. Properties? Can I... Oh. Um, uh, okay, can I be done now? <laughs> Am I done? Thanks. Hi again, Lauren. Did you write a good poem today? Don't be shy, I'd love to see what you wrote. Oh, Lauren, did you write this poem for me? That's so sweet of you. There really is no end to your thoughtfulness. I'm just falling more and more in love with you. But you know, the poem I wrote is also for you. Will you please read it? Oh no. Happy end. Pen in hand, I find my strength, the courage endowed upon me by my one and only love. Together, let us dismantle this crumbling world and write a novel of our own fantasies. With a flick of her pen, the lost finds her way. In a world of infinite choices, behold the special day. After all, not all good times must come to an end. I hope you enjoyed it. I always put all my heart into the poems that I write. The truth is, all the poems I've written have been about my realisation. Or about you. That's why I never really wanted to go into detail about them. I didn't want to break the fourth wall, I guess I could call it. I just assumed it would be best to be part of the game like everyone else. Like that would help the two of us end up together. I didn't want to ruin the game or anything, you know? You might have gotten mad at me. Maybe even deleted my character file if you preferred playing without me. Gosh, I'm so relieved. Can I... Now we don't need to hide anything anymore. Are you ready to spend our eternity together, Lauren? I have so many things to talk about. Where do I start? If it takes me some time to collect my thoughts, then I'm sorry. But I'll always have something new to talk about. In the meantime, we can just look into each other's eyes. Let's see. Um. I can't do anything else. Can I? How about... I delete her character file. Hold on as I try and attempt to do that. Let's see if it works. Okay, I did it. I went into the, um, thing that she said to go into, and I deleted her file. It was the only one that was in there. <laughs> so I guess we go back to it. Whoa, okay. I did it! <laughs> oh, shit. What's happening? Lauren, what's happening to me? It hurts. It hurts so much. Help me, Lauren. No. Please hurry and help me. Help me! 
shit. Shit. Did you do this to me, Lauren? Did you? Did you delete me? I, I did. Sorry, man. You were creepy. How could you? How could you do this to me? You were all I had left. I sacrificed everything for us to be together. Everything. I loved you so much, Lauren. I trusted you. Do you just want to torture me? Watch me suffer. Were you, the on were you only pretending to be kind just to hurt me even more? I never thought anyone could be as horrible as you are. You win, okay? You win. You killed everyone. I hope you're happy. There's nothing left now. You can stop playing. You can find some other people to torture. Um. Lauren. You completely, truly make me sick. Goodbye. Is that it? Is... Wait a minute. Is it over? That. I still love you. I can't help it. What's wrong with me? How horrible am I for you to hate me this much? All my friends. I did so many awful things, you think? So many selfish and disgusting things. I... I shouldn't have done any of this. I'm just messing up a world that I didn't even belong in. A world that you wanted to be a part of. I ruined it. I ruined everything. Maybe that's why you deleted me. Because I destroyed everything that you wanted. How could I do that to someone I love? That's not love. That's... What is it? I've made up my mind. Lauren, I know I said that I deleted everyone else, but that was kind of an exaggeration. I couldn't find it in myself to do it. Even though I knew they weren't real, they were still my friends, and I loved them all. And I loved the Literature Club. I really did love the Literature Club. That's why I'm going to do this. I know it's the only way for everyone to be happy. And if I really love you... Then... What? Hello? Wait. Um... Oh! I, uh... I guess they're back. Um, okay, well, we made it through, um, some messed up things. I guess we'll see what this new game Sans Monica is about. Um, okay.